Hi there. I don't know about you, but I spent a good chunk of my career working with Microsoft Office. And as a Google district, we don't really use that anymore. So we use Google Docs, which is a fantastic program. Uh, but it does have a few quirks and does things a little bit differently than Microsoft does. So periodically I get questions about how do I create graphics and insert them into a Google Doc. And so my name is Aaron Tomhaven. That is the topic for this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. As you can see, I'm in Google Slides. I don't know about you, but I've used a lot of different graphic design softwares over the years, and Google Slides makes it ridiculously simple to create graphics. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. I actually created my family Christmas card using Google Slides this year. Why? Because I could import images, uh, text boxes, create overlay. I even brought in snowflakes for the backdrop, uh, all kinds of things. And it was extremely flexible and it helps me stay uh, centered because there are actual uh, measurement lines on it. So maybe you're creating um, something for a, a test, something that goes on your newsletter. Uh, you can create the text boxes, shape them however you want to. Uh, Google Slides, if you click and drag, it'll let you know where the center of the image is. Uh, you can insert your bitmojis if you want to, and uh, you can flip them on the horizontal however you'd like to. Uh, I created this image. Maybe your students are trying to meet their target, their goals for the nine weeks, and you want to create this uh, kind of an image, or you find one that you like, you can actually add the arrows to it. I made the circles. I found the arrows. So here's the fun part. Let's go back to this one here. Maybe I want to insert this into a newsletter or an email or something that goes in a student Thursday folder. Here's the options that are so neat. So if you go to file and click on download, there's an option in here to do either JPEG, PNG, or SVG. Uh, I use JPEG anytime I'm inserting into Google Docs because now I've been able to create this really neat image. I can go to any document that I'd like and I can insert the image from my computer from making graphics and slides right here. And I'll tell you folks, I was extremely excited when Google finally added this option uh, that uh, has not been in there until this year. Uh, take a look. You can now put this in front or behind of text. You can drag it around wherever you need to, uh, and you can type your text over the top, which has been really handy uh, as well. But this image file is actually a high quality image file. The other option would be Say you're going to make a t-shirt for Kindness Week or uh, for St. Patrick's Day or for star testing to get your students excited, stickers, uh, anything like that. A lot of graphics design softwares and companies use a format called SVG. You can actually now create anything that you want inside Google Slides, download it as an SVG, a scalable vector file, uh, and it can be used by graphics design, uh, graphics designers and software people who can create stickers and t-shirts and all kinds of things uh, from that just using Google Slides. So that's my best suggestion for you. If you're going to create images or graphics and insert them into Google Docs, now you don't have to worry about any of the formatting technicalities inside Docs. You can just create them in Google Slides and do the direct insert. All right, folks, that's it for me for this week. But remember, you can always go to ClassLink, go into Canvas, and click on the Teaching and Learning Hub. There is so much great information in there, uh, lots of tips and tools and tricks, videos just like this one to help make your life better. And meet us here next week for Tech Tip Tuesday.